Hi everybody, welcome to Creekstar Collects. Today I'm just going to be finishing off these flesh terrors for a kill team. Um, and all they need doing is they need just their chapter symbol applying to their shoulder pads. Now Games Workshop don't sell these, uh, as you probably know. Which meant I had to either paint them on or 3D print them. But these were the push fit uh, assault intercessors. So without cutting everything up and trying to stick it all together... Uh, it was going to be too much hassle. I couldn't be bothered with that. And the idea of trying to paint them on just seemed like even more hassle because I'm convinced I would not be able to get them all to look exactly the same and that would really bug me. So I took to the internet as anybody would do and had a look around. So I found these on an Etsy store uh, from the Netherlands and for £10.85 I got these two A7 sheets which come with 230 individual transfers which is a bit more than I need for a kill team, but I'm hoping this kill team will be the start of a new army, so I might use them in the future. So let's give them a go and see how we get on. Now, of course, I'm going to need my micro set, and I'm going to need my micro soul for this. Highly recommend them if you don't have them already for doing transfers. And just a quick setup of the table. So I've got my little pot of water to drop the decals in. I've got my tweezers to uh, maneuver them and move them around. Obviously, I've got a knife to cut them out. I've got my paintbrush to apply the micro sole and micro set. And I can use it to maneuver any of the transfers around when I'm trying to set them in place. And of course, lastly, a piece of paper towel just to soak up any excess water when I take the transfer out of its water pot. Well, jumping straight into it then, I'm going to uh, choose this guy, nobody in particular. Um, and I'm going to go with the second set of uh, transfers because the first ones look a bit too small. I don't know if they're for um, firstborn marines. Uh, they look like they might fit on their shoulder pads a bit better. But the uh, second ones look like they're either for terminator size or, um, you know, like intercessor size or the new marine size. So I've chosen this size first. We'll see how we get on. I've let it soak for it a little bit and as I'm letting it soak I'm just going to apply some of the micro set. Now in my experience this normally goes on quite well and from what I understand the way it works is you apply this first and it helps the uh, decal you can maneuver it around without it sort of tearing or um, you know having folding over and issues like that it's meant to help it adhere to the uh, shoulder pad however and I tried it this time, and this has worked in the past. This is how I normally do it. So feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm doing this wrong. It wasn't adhering or sticking to the paint. It was kind of just washing off, so it wouldn't sit on it. Now, normally it would just sit on a shoulder pad like this, and I couldn't work out why. So I ran into my first problem already. So removing the decal from the water, I just dried off the excess from it, just... Uh, dropping it onto the piece of paper and then of course I dropped it face down however as you can see it survived um, so I just did my usual just hold it with the tweezers and it slides on really well so it came off the paper really well it went onto the shoulder fine and this is where I encountered my first issue so it moved around fine and I added a bit more micro set and hope that you know it might sort of flatten it a little bit but it didn't seem to flatten now, I've never had this before. Uh, most of the transfers I've ever worked with, I apply this, move it to where I need it to be, and it sort of starts to stick. And then what you do is you add the micro sole. And everything is normally hunky dory after that. However, nothing was going right with this one. It just kept folding. Whereas one side would go down, the other side would then pop up, and vice versa. So. I thought I'd try some micro sole on it after trying the micro set I thought I'd just slap that on and just see if that made any difference but it didn't as you can see it just moves it all around and it was not sticking to the shoulder pad at all now I thought maybe I've gone wrong maybe I've you know because just dipping it in like I'm doing but it's always worked for me in the past so I was a little bit confused so I left this one and I thought I'll try another one and what I'll do this time is I'll leave it a little bit longer in the water maybe see if that was the reason maybe it needs a bit more water in to soak up and it will go a bit more uh, 
floppy is the word. That's probably not the word I'm looking for, but um, you know, it would probably bend better and uh, not be so stiff. So I grabbed my sheet again and I cut out a second one and I put it back in the water and I left it for a good few more minutes longer than the first time I did it. I grabbed my second victim and we went through the motions again. So I tried applying the micro set as it's meant to go in that order. I'm sure I'm right on that. It has a number one on it. And also I lost the decal. So obviously I left it in longer, which meant it separated itself a lot easier. But with these being a lot thicker, which I think might be the problem, they seem to be a lot thicker than the regular transfers I'm used to. It, um, yeah, there was no problems in getting it back out of the water. It didn't fold, it didn't do anything. And as you can see, it sticks to everything. So I was having a bit of an issue. So after drying it off a little bit and soaking up some of the excess with my brush and trying to move it around, I thought I'd just straight away apply the micro sole just to see if that would squash it down a little bit. But I kept running into the same issue. Um, the same issue being that every time I tried to put one side down, the other side would pop up. If I tried to put the top down, the bottom pops up. If I put the bottom down, the top popped up. So I got out my trusty scalpel knife just to see if I could try and push it down a bit more. Maybe it needed something a bit firmer to just sort of get it to stick to the shoulder pad, but made no difference. Did the exact same thing again. So when you've got one side down, the other side pops up, etc. So nothing was going right as of this moment. After achieving the same results as the first attempt, I went for a third in hopes that maybe, you know, third time lucky. This time what I was going to do was, uh, I was going to, well, same starting process, drop the transfer in the water, because you have to, but I was just going to apply it straight to the model and then apply the micro set to see if that would maybe thin it down and make it bend a bit more. And once that's dry, then apply the micro sole. However, as you'll see, it made no difference at all. I achieved the same results and now I'm at a bit of a loss as to what to do. So my next step was to just go check out the website, the Etsy store that I bought it from and just have a look at the reviews because all the reviews were really good. And looking at them all, there was plenty of, yeah, positive reviews, you know, pictures, in fact. People had gotten to work, so it was definitely something I was doing. So I decided I'll take a break, I'll leave them, and come back to them. See if that makes any difference, you know, just let them dry out a little bit, see if that will change anything. And would you bloody believe it? It did work, um, to an extent. So... As you can see, there's still a bit of a crease in it, which I can't get out. But after leaving it, I started edit ed editing, editing this video. And I went back to it after a little while. And I noticed they had flattened down slightly. So with a gentle press from the finger, I um, actually got them to sort of flatten against the shoulder panel. And it, as you can see, it's now worked. However, there is one problem. And that problem is, None of them are central. Um, so I've managed to squash them all down, get them flattened, well, the, to the best of what their abilities or my abilities are. And now I've realized they're all adhered quite nicely that none of them are central. But it is what it is, isn't it? You know, it's they're on now. So I've done three. Hopefully I'll use this method now. Now I know what to do and I can get the other ones to actually sit properly. Uh, and then what I'm going to do afterwards, obviously, is I'm going to try and uh, scuff them up a little bit anyway. So maybe that'll cover up some of the uh, the lack of being central. We shall see. And here we have it then. So I went back and I did the last remaining Marines. And what I found was, because the transfers were so thick, uh, I'm not used, quite used to that. The Games Workshop ones are the only ones I've ever used, and they're always quite thin. Um, and they just seem to flop around and, you know, bend around whatever they need to be on. Um, because of these were so thick, as you saw, because they're quite robust, I actually applied the micro set as I normally would. And then what I did was I actually just pressed them down with my finger. And 
that seemed to actually push it and bend it or say bend it just push it and make it fit to the shape basically um, and just held it there for a second took my finger away everything was fine uh, so after that I just did that for the next couple of ones to try same again just did the uh, water the transfer you know take it off apply it with the micro set push it down hold it for a second uh, they never came away from my finger either uh, I thought that was going to be an issue but uh, it actually just pressed it against the shoulder pad and uh, it stayed there so I let it dry I applied the micro sole to try and just sort of seal it on and um, yeah then I went in and I tried to scuff them up a little bit the way I did this was literally just to apply some black paint as simple as um, and now I look at it I kind of wish I hadn't because um, either of it doesn't look right to me or I feel like now I need to go back and I need to add markings all over the armor and stuff it seems a bit weird that their shoulder pads uh, have now had paint scratched off you know their uh, painted on um, chapter symbol has all been scratched off but the rest of their armor seems pretty pristine uh, and flesh terrors as well you know like to get into the thick of it all you would expect them to look a bit more beaten up so I am probably now going to have to go back and uh, do all that at some point. It won't be right now, um, but one day I will. However, uh, just another note is that I tried to seal it with a, a matte varnish as well. So I have this matte varnish from Vallejo. It's called Mecha Varnish. And uh, I read the reviews on it when I first bought it. And a lot of people say they use them for like their Gundam models and Mecha builds and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd try it and I have used it quite a few times and it does give a nice effect and however it's not as matte as I'd like it. Um, I just painted this straight onto the shoulder pads to try and seal them a bit to try and tone down because you could see the edges of the decals uh, and I was, I'm sure some of you probably feel the same way that is kind of annoying. So I um, yeah I basically tried taking it straight out of the bottle even though it says you know it's for airbrush and everything like that. And yeah, no, it has. It's got rid of the edges of the transfers. However, it does make the shoulder pad a bit shinier. But all that means is I'll just have to spray them all with it at some point once I've scuffed them up. But that brings us to the end. So this was only just a short video for any Flesh Terror players out there who might be in the market for some transfers. Um, because Games Workshop don't sell them, we've got to go looking for our own, uh, especially if you're like me and didn't want to paint them on. Now, I would recommend these. They look wicked and uh, a bit fiddly to get on, but once you've got them on, they look great. They do the trick. And like I say, for £10, I've got all of these transfers to do loads of stuff with now. So it's wicked. And I'm looking forward to starting an army now. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you want to, some of these, go to Etsy and have a look. I think they're all sold out at the moment. Um, so I don't know when they restock them, but give it a go. Anyways, like I said, thank you for watching, everyone. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.